Hello, I'm Danny Bishop, Corporate Director of Training for the Crosby Group, and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Ask the Expert. Today's question comes to us from Carl at Nibsco. Carl's question is, if you're lifting a non-symmetrical load with center of gravity not in the middle, and you're lifting that load with multiple sling legs, can you base the slings and the rigging hardware on the calculated tension of the sling closest to the center of gravity? Well, to answer that question, let me first state that I do like the idea of uh, basing the uh, sling capacity on the sling closest to the center of gravity because that's the one, in this example, taking the greatest share of the load. However, I can't say that that is the correct path to take in all material handling activities around the world because uh, we do run into some exceptions. I've got a simulated load here. Let me maneuver it in so you can see it better. It's good for explaining uh, complex topics uh, and even, even simple rigging topics uh, at times. Let's take a look at this and notice that we have shorter slings over here. These slings are the slings closest to the center of gravity. Actually, I have weight added where my hand is I'm inside the load. These slings are longer and they're seeing the lighter side or filling the lighter side of the load. With eye bolts being our connection points, we have to uh, realize a few things. First off, when we're using shouldered eye bolts, such as here, eye bolts lose the majority of their strength in the first 45 degrees of angular loading. And if you take a look, the angle of loading is pretty minimal on these eye bolts closest to the center of gravity. The angle of loading on the eye bolts away from the center of gravity, as over here, this is more drastic. So if we don't do a careful analysis uh, before the load comes off the ground, you may accidentally undersize the eye bolts that you need based on the angle, even though the eye bolts uh, might be these farther away from the center of gravity. In fact, we may even need to possibly use swivel hoist strings instead of eye bolts at some of these connection points. In closing, let me just state that uh, that's just one example. We do run into other exceptions, such as sometimes the pick points are not on the same plane. Sometimes uh, we have uh, uh, pick points not on the same level. So let's just make sure that a qualified person analyzes all the slings, all the rigging hardware, all the connection points, especially when we have uh, non-symmetrical loads with center of gravity not in the middle. Good question, Carl, and we hope to see each of you back on another episode of Ask the Expert. <music>